Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm just sitting here trying to throw this video together. It's taking a little bit longer than I planned. Um, Kevin's over there sound asleep. The girls are over here sound asleep. So it's a nice quiet time. I really enjoy this time of the evening. Um, something weird reflection going. I, sorry, it's bugging me. Um, I did want to warn you that this is a very long video. Um, it is raw footage from the tour that I took at the North American, I think it was great. No, North American Bear Center in Eli, Minnesota. The place is amazing. The habitat is two and a half acres of native forest. The only thing that they've done is put in a pond with a waterfall. And each bear, there's four residence bears, and each of them has their own enclosure, and they're free to go in and out all they want. Uh, it's up to them, but I think they go home at night to rest after a long day playing. Uh, they do have the ability to isolate them in there in case they need to, say, for medical attention. Um, there's actually four bears that live there, but we only got to see three of them because Holly is already hibernating in a den that she dug out in the enclosure. So they can den down wherever they want. If they want to make their own, they do. If they want to reuse one they did uh, before, or they can make it right there in their enclosure. Uh, this was taken just before Halloween. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can check it out if you want to. Again, it's just amazing. If you get a chance to go there, I highly recommend it. Um, but come along with my tour and we can meet, I have to think about this, Tasha and Ted and Lucky. Just great. So thanks. Hope you have a good evening. Bye. Uh, she's been here, this is her fifth year with us. She came in 2016. Now, Tasha was found by a gentleman who uh, had seen her mother get hit by a truck. And so he saw the cubs and he uh, tried to catch all three of them, but he could only catch one. And that was Tasha. So he raised her for about uh, 12 months and then he let her go. He um, owned a 50 acre farm. And so she could wander that area wherever she wanted, but he decided to drive to a little bit and farther away. So he took her a couple miles from his home, and uh, he uh, let her go. And he didn't hear any more about her. Well, about two weeks after he let her go, he heard about this little bear getting into some mischief in a park. And so he drove his truck to the park, at the kid's door, called Tasha, she got in, and they drove away. Well, that was fine and more, but the mission gave the town had already, the authorities had already been notified, and uh, Tasha was confiscated. She was going to be euthanized um, right away because she was being removed from there, but the public outcry was so great that he decided to try to find her a home. So um, Tasha's next stop was the North American Bear Center. And uh, she's been here since uh, June 6th of 2016. She is an absolute sweetheart. A little larger than most females that you would find in this area. But again, uh, she is uh, captain there now. And she gets her breakfast and dinner served to her. <coughs> she does have um, wild foraging abilities and uses them for the berries, the uh, big hazelnuts, and other things that grow, especially grasses um, that grow here at the center. So she is very accustomed to eating well. And you can tell by her size. And you can also tell by her coat that she has a very nice winter coat on. Um, she is the first usually to grow her winter coat, maybe because she's not used to the cold weather or the cold temperatures. Holly, who is from Arkansas, but probably has northern genes, um, due to an exchange in the 1960s of we gave Arkansas bears and they gave us turkeys. So um, we think that she probably has some northern genes. She does hibernate much earlier than uh, the other three bears do. And her coat grows much uh, faster just like Tasha's coat. So Tasha does have her winter coat on. Now bears have a very insulating or it is called undercoat, 
and you can kind of, kind of see that she has a crease going across her shoulders there, and that's just her hair dividing. Inside that is very, very thick, woolly like fur, and it's very hard to get to their backs um, if you were to reach in with your hand, other than I don't suggest that at all. Um, she's not very friendly with that sort of thing. And uh, the pointy hairs that you see that are sticking up, those are called guard hairs. And um, she uh, has a very, very fine coat. We give our bears fish oil, and that only not helps uh, with the shine on their coat, but it also helps keep their, the pads on their feet uh, very pliable and soft so that they don't break and crack uh, during the summertime. Any questions about Kasha? How soon will she start hiding in How soon will she start? Um, she started the process. I expect her not to go in for a couple of weeks. So. How much does she weigh right now? Excuse me, Kasha currently weighs 394. And in the spring when she comes out? In the spring when she comes out, she'll be in the 200s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And 100 pounds more than she should weigh. It should, it's okay. Like normal weight or just that's yeah. just the winter weight? That's, that's her um, winter weight. Right. Prehibition. So she works on it usually from August. They're very busy in the month of June, with, um, which females don't eat very much in June um, because of estrus. And they're due to about the first two weeks of July. And then after that, hyperphagia starts, which is when they're eating the most foods to gain the most weight. Is that door usually open, like you go in the big one? Um, her gate is right there. It's open now. Uh, she can free, go in free and uh, go and come as she wants to. Any other questions for Tasha? Well, our big guy has been waiting patiently, so let's walk up and see him. This is uh, Ted. Now, Ted is much larger than Tasha, as you can see. He's our only captive born and captive raised bear. He is uh, just short of being 700 pounds. He has not grown his winter coat completely in yet. You can see that it's just now growing. He does den in that uh, chalet. That is where he uh, will den for the winter, and that is where he lives most of the time. Ted does rotate in and out. It's on his time, and uh, if he chooses to go out, he sits by his gate, and we let him out. If he doesn't want to go out, he doesn't uh, have to. <laughs> He's in retirement now, so everything is about him. <laughs> and he doesn't have to do anything that he doesn't want to do. <laughs> he is, um, as I said, captive born and captive raised. And so he's very accustomed to being hand fed. He is the only bear that we do allow our volunteers or our interns to go in with, as long as they um, are providing him with food so that he doesn't bother them. You can see also that his, he's much bigger. And although he was the smallest in his litter, um, bears usually are under 11, right around 11 ounces when they're born, 10, 11, 12 ounces. Wow. Kind of like a stick of butter. But they grow very fast. They're um, born hairless and just um, really have a big mouth. Everything else is underdeveloped. And so mom listens to the squalls and when she hears the cubs squalling, she attends to what their needs are and guides them to the, her warm tummy. Um, bears will sleep with their noses tucked to their core, and that allows them to um, create a nice warm environment for their, her and her, she and her cubs. Any questions about Ted Bear? Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear. <laughs> They're like Ted um, Well, Ted's his name. He, uh, I was corrected when I said it's Ted Eaton. It's not. It's Ted. <laughs> Ted Bear. 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 
Ed is 24 years old, and he will uh, hopefully live well into his 30s. He's got a pretty good retirement plan here. Yeah. <laughs> all his medical and food is taken care of, so really all he has to do is walk around and entertain. Now you said he will winter in that house, right? Yes. How much weight does he lose compared to the other bears that go into dens? Versus he's not exposed to the elements, but there's not as much. Well, you I think this is silly, but he loses actually more. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, he loses about 20% of his body weight, where um, the spoiled one here um, only lost about 18, and Holly only lost about 17, and she dug, she dug in, dug in a den that she dug. <laughs> Good questions, any other questions? What's his favorite treat? Um, Ted's favorite treat is anything that we, we feed him generally, but he does like yogurt races. Nice. Um, all of our bears, this is how we introduce our interns, we use yogurt raisins. Uh, we uh, introduce um, all of our interns, both summer and uh, fall, with um, giving them something that they really like to eat and talking to them so that they learn their voice and will respond to their name when they're called. All of our bears know their names. And listen 99% of the time. <laughs> So anybody up for a trip to see Lepham? Yeah. All right, let's go. Since he was six months old, he was found wandering in the yard and uh, DNR picked him up. He was deemed unreleasable and was due to be euthanized when we uh, said, asked if we could have him. He came here um, just the next day. And Lucky has an interesting story because he just didn't come here in an ordinary box like the, um, uh, Tasha and uh, Holly did. Lucky started off in a crate and ended up sitting in the lap of our intern in a Mustang convertible. <laughs> so he made his trip from Wisconsin to here sitting in the front seat. No way. Came in Lucky. And uh, his name um, became Lucky because he was uh, to euthanize the day before we got him. Oh, and so Lucky kind of stuck with him. And he responds very well to it. His favorite food, as you see, he's very, very slow when he eats. Um, he uh, is just ready to hibernate. If we didn't bother them, him anymore, he would be down for the count. <laughs> but um, we still have to give him straw. We haven't done that yet. He'll get some more leaves on uh, probably um, Sunday, on Saturday, they're getting their pumpkin. Nice. We have a contest online. Um, we have our interns carve pumpkins into jack o' lanterns, and then the one that gets the most votes goes to Ted and Tasha. And then Lucky will get a bag because I don't want the uh, pumpkin going inside the den because it'll smell bad. So. <coughs> This is where he'll den. He'll get three bales of straw on the, probably the 24th. And um, if you're fortunate, if you could be here, you would see him rake them in, rake it in. He's a pretty cool character, this guy. He weighs just over 500 pounds. He weighed about 20 pounds when he came here. He is a very finicky eater. And so not everything agrees with him. And uh, he and Holly are my bears that gain the least amount of weight, where we have Tasha and Ted who will eat just about anything and put in front of them. So um, it's pretty generally easy to decide how much weight they're going to gain before hibernation. <coughs> Excuse me, with Lucky, we always plan, I always plan about 530 pounds. He's right about five, 505. Holly went in at 330 pounds. And Ted's usually 700. Sometimes he's under, sometimes he goes over a little. So what time of spring are they awakened? Um, usually Holly and Lucky um, are in until about April, 
between April 5th and 9th. And Tasha and Ted are usually end of March. Any questions? <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat gets dry when I can talk. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, we're going to head inside. If you have any questions, please find someone in.